Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Planet Icarus. Uh, we're continuing on with the mission we've been working on for a few days now, because uh, I'm a slacker, and I don't, I don't want to rush it. It's like the 30-day mission. We can take all the time in the world, practically. Uh, but we've been building up this big base and stuff, and I've been working on supplying that first dropship with the materials we need. I actually made a bunch of cement off-stream so that we'd be ready for uh, moving on to the next dropship so we can see what the requirements are for that. I know we need oxygen and fuel. I don't know what the quantities are. I might even bring some with me while we go to hunt for it. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, so, I, uh, like I said, I did a little bit of work off uh, off stream. I gathered up uh, some more stone and stuff that I needed. Uh, oh, crap. I had watermelons here. I mean, they go bad quick. Uh, okay, so I had a whole bunch of watermelons and now I don't. Uh, well, that sucks. All right, I guess we'll get the corn at least. Maybe? Oh my god, even the corn is like dying off. I, I, I wasn't paying attention earlier today. I was just gathering stuff that I needed for uh, for the mission and I, I should have harvested the vegetables and I didn't even think about it. The worst part is they, uh, when they're in stacks, you're only losing one at a time, but when they're all in individual plots, you lose like a whole bunch at once. That's great. I just lost a bunch of watermelon. After all the work I took to find those stupid things, I got less watermelon than I started with. Um, somewhere I put the corn. I don't remember where. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay, well, at the very least, we can make, uh, make some of this stuff. Might as well use it before the corn goes bad. Make like five of them. They don't, they don't exactly keep very well. Hey, Mad Dog Gamer, how you doing? I have one talent point to use. I said, what? You sure? Pretty sure I have zero points available. <laughs> As a, even though I level up and stuff now, I'm not, uh, I'm not earning talent points anymore. That stops at like level 40. Uh, we're level 60 something now, so we're a little bit beyond that, unfortunately. Keep that beer stocked up there. Beer. There we go. Sure, Moose didn't spawn and eat them. I mean, maybe. It's possible. I, I don't think they're affected by storms. I think I just didn't harvest them quickly enough and they rotted, which is uh, an unfortunate side effect of being a slacker. You know, things just don't go your way sometimes. Uh, I got, over here, I have uh, the uh, cans of biofuel underway. I do need to get some more iron, and so I set up uh, off stream. I, uh, I got all the materials that I need to be able to make ourselves one of these fancy biofuel deep mining drills. We're going to craft that uh, and try setting that up down at the cave where we know there's a spot that has deep mining, you know. Or that thing. There's like an iron patch or whatever down here. So we'll go fuel this thing up and see how all that works. Zach Rhino with Super Chat. Uh, when you first loaded the game, it said 1 TP, really. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it gives me that pop-up constantly now. Anytime I log in. Not accurate, though. Uh, I also made a lantern, so we have that on my belt. Uh, and it does wonderful things to brighten the whole world up. It's great. We can light up any room we enter. It's awesome. Oh! One other thing I did, I made a new bow. So we got a recurve bow. Because I figured if we're gonna be going someplace that's dangerous, it, it might not hurt to bring a bow that has a little bit more firepower than the longbow does. Uh, so we have a recurve bow, we have a lantern, we have this fancy deep fuel mining drill, or biofuel deep mining drill rather. Man, I can't even talk. Uh, and then uh, and then I got all the cement that we need for our mission. So, you know, I had a little bit of productive time off stream anyway. That's right. I light up every room with my bubbly personality. You got it. I like to think of myself as being effervescent. And lazy. That too. Uh, okay, so here's the 250 concrete that we need. We'll go put that in the dropship here. Curious if I launch this thing, if it's gonna... <laughs> oh, oh, oh god! All right, I uh, I didn't exactly expect that thing to auto launch. <laughs> it's gone, just like that. At least it didn't destroy the wall. 
Okay, well, we got half our job done. Supply point alpha's finished. Jeez, I'm glad that fire doesn't damage, because it would have, like, completely melted my face. Even through my helmet. Yesterday in outpost mode, I finished my new place, so I decided to burn my wood place down with a torch. It didn't burn. Oh, really? <laughs> Funny. I'm, that's not my dropship. My dropship is over here. That was one of the supply dropships. So the and then there's the, another one over here that we have to put materials in too. Oh yeah. So if you missed the last stream, we uh, we got things set up here a little bit. So I I walled in the yard around the house that keeps all the uh, the dangerous animals out. Although somehow a deer got in. I'm not entirely sure how. I don't know if it like spawned in the yard or. Uh, there's like a draw distance thing where if you're far enough away, the wall doesn't technically exist. So maybe a deer managed to wander in that way. I'm not sure exactly, but it's somehow a deer got into the yard. We killed it though, of course, because that's what we do with animals. Killed some. Um, the little shed I have at the back here, I have set up as, uh, as a little workshop. I just basically have uh, concrete smelters and cement mixers and a glass bottle thing in there. And then uh, I set up a few farm plots here too. I was gonna do a whole lot more of them, but I mean, really, we have beer. What more do we need? Oh, you know what? I should consider making. Consider making the wine too. What's it take for wine? So the wine is uh, reed flowers, which I don't have any of. Wild berries and then wine bottles. I feel like I feel like wine bottles could be in my near future. Uh, I only have seven glass though. I don't know how much glass it takes per bottle. Uh, best fuel composition, sticks and sap. I don't know, I've been using fiber and sap, but, uh... Oh, I already had glass in here. Yeah. Well, la-dee-da. Uh, wine bottles. Let's make, like, ten of these. Let's not make ten. Holy cow, how much... It's 30 glass per bottle, that's nuts. Five it is. I don't think I have any of those flowers, though. I'll have to look. I'm gonna find some reed flowers so we can make... Make wide, and then and then we'll uh, our our stamina or our, well our, our boosting food anyway. I don't even know what wine affects. Uh, our boosting food will be uh, largely alcohol based. It'll be great. So hundred uh, hundred percent stamina regen and uh, one twenty five max stamina. So it's basically the same as beer. I wonder if it's only one or the other you're gonna have in your system at a time. Hmm. Should have made pickled carrots, maybe. I didn't make the right jars. Am I gonna make glass windows? This might be not a bad idea. Maybe not a bad idea. Somewhere in here I have, uh, well, I have a little bit of silica ore left. Not really much. Not much. We used an awful lot of silica ore. Make glass out of that. So it looks like, yeah, each piece of silica will make a piece of glass, so that's something at least. Wine will boost my inebriation. Score! We'll really be set. Uh, 23 arrows. Let's go see the, uh, let's go see the cave. I'm gonna try and set up this, uh, this deep mining drill and see how it works. Being brand new, I haven't used it before. I'll give you a stay of execution, dear. You're lucky. So alcohol for food, university flashback? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Alky hall. Ooh, while we're out here, I should keep an eye out for those reed flowers. I think we actually might have to go down by the water to find them. Can't remember exactly where they grow. It's probably by the water. Also watch for watermelon. These ones are... those are lilies, it's not them. Um... Keep an eye out for watermelons too, I guess. He is how my watermelon crop... has had better days. Yeah, by the water? Okay. Canadian making wine? Isn't that an oxymoron? What are you talking about? There's actually some really prominent wineries in Canada. Southern Ontario in particular. Plus we make ice wine. Okay, where are 
these things. Need my arrows back. I don't have a lot of those. Is that it? I think there's gonna be one more, right? Up top side. Are you there? There you are. Good little wormy thing. Oh, I bounced the wrong way. Teak, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Duplicate. Thanks for the support. Uh, there was the one I shot down here. I don't see where the arrows went. Sucks. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the spot that had the deep mining node. Now I knew that it was it was definitely iron before, and it kind of looks like iron from the top. But it actually, like you before you were able to like mouse over it, and you could see specifically what it was. So let's see. Oh yeah, just automatically deploys in the right spot. Got that. Have to interact. Fuel in here. Your twin powers activate. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Hold on, I want to get a, I want to get a picture here for posterity. There we go. Perfect. So I don't know how quickly this thing works or how much fuel it's going to consume, but I guess it'll just keep doing its thing, and then we can come back later and see how much it collected. We'll find out how much uh, how much iron we get for um, per can of fuel, and uh, just go from there, I guess. Hopefully, it's a decent amount. Cause it took a lot of materials to build that thing. What's all the Icarus vods finally caught a live stream? Well, welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it. We'll take some coal while we're here. One ore every minute. All right. How long does a can of fuel last? Anybody know? This isn't the most efficient of the drills. I think there's another one that's more efficient, but... I should refill my thing while I'm here. A little water refill. Okay. I can do its, uh, do its job. Wait, you're not a green alien? Nope. Uh, I mean, I kind of look like... I, play, I look like I play one on TV, because, I mean, I got this whole... Green weird thing going on. This suit's kind of funky. It's supposed to be like super camouflage, but I don't know how that works exactly, unless it's like some sort of high-tech secret camouflage that even that you can't even see that it's camouflage. It's so good. I don't know. Travis the Super Chat, you look like the creature for the Black Lagoon. <laughs> well, thanks, Travis, but it's, this isn't as bad as the one where we're covered in like the uh, the matted green junk. You can see the lantern on my hip. When we had the uh, the other suit on, we were we were much more swamp monster looking. Now we're like weird, like almost like a I don't know Star Wars speeder bike looking kind of guy. Only not really. I got my meds. What oh, meds? Oh, I got meds right here. I didn't plan to be in there long, so I didn't bother to take him. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm gonna waste one of my cream corns, I think. Didn't eat it fast enough. I ate something else. I'm going the wrong way. I thought the water was like right over here. No, we're close. I didn't think it was that far to the water. Okay, I need to find those fancy flowers so that we can make some alcoholic products. <laughs> special meds. <laughs> you talking about the wine and the beer? Because uh, those are pretty special meds. Oh, you know what? I might as well grab these while I'm here, too. No sense running out of yeast when we can be making more beer with it. I 
I'm gonna need a bunch of this oxide and stuff too. Uh, I'll have to check and see how much leather we have because I'm gonna try to bring some uh, leather oxygen pouches with us when we travel. Not for us to breathe, but just so that uh, we can drop them in the dropship. Try to get some of that supply going. There are all the flowers. Still planning on doing a glass wall in your house? Yeah, I probably should. I'm gonna need uh, some more silica, I guess. I was down to like 20, um, so I should probably keep an eye out for that also. Right in the year. Clean to zero for him. A little waxy. He took care of it. Uh, let me just use the taxidermy knife. So does the supply ship need oxide ore? I have you know what, I have no idea. We have to go and find out. Uh, I know I need to send oxygen, but I thought people had said we, it was like oxygen, like, painters we needed to bring. So maybe we'll go on a road trip, and we'll, uh... Maybe we'll just bring in like a can of fuel and see how much it satisfies per can. We'll deal with the oxygen afterwards. Ah, I wasn't trying to drink. Darn it. Oxygen canisters or oxygen bladders? 50,000 O2. That's a fair amount of O2, man. I don't even know how much each... I think... What, did you say it, uh, it takes 10 of the uh, the actual canisters? Like each one holds 5,000 or something? I think I see watermelons. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't really need to bother with the watermelon. If I'm going to have wine and beer... Cream corn, that's already a pretty good set of stat boosts there. Where on earth are these stupid flowers? I find them all the time when I don't want them. <laughs> 10 canisters or 50 bladders. The bladders are easier. Yeah, aside from like the carrying space that it takes to carry 50 bladders. That's kind of a downside. Do those little blue flowers go like grow like right on the edge of the water? Or are they like within a certain distance of the water? I feel like I found them before and... Oh, I make an oxygenator there, yeah. In the shallows, okay. Alright. Not seeing any yet. Game's just out to get me. I get it. Oh, over there. There's some. Got it. This is what we need. We're gonna make some booze. Now, can I swipe these things with this thing? Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. We're going to make so many boozes. Uh-oh. I feel like the lightning may not be a good thing. Because I work with my iron tool down here. Maybe it won't see me because I'm camouflaged. Is that how that works? Ooh, the laggy is there. Oh shoot, I don't have the marker for my base anymore because I sent the ship away. Uh, it's somewhere in this general vicinity. <laughs> Probably should have considered that. Oh, I need silica. Just a lot of lightning. It's still good. It's still good.
Oh shoot, we're down below the falls too. I gotta get up there. Go, go, go. Put your glasses on, it'd be like when Superman uses his camo outfit. <laughs> well, I've got that uh, the hunting suit on that gives me some camo, right? That should hide me from the storm, right? Something. I mean, not that we're far from the house, but I'd rather not get struck by lightning. More tummy buddies. Always with the tummy buddies. This is when I'm likely to have a bear sneak up on me because I can't hear him coming. Aw, oh, see that wasn't so bad. What's a little bit of lightning? This weather ain't got nothing. Going whole wildlife. Fresh fox. Soon to be fresh roasted. Okay, we survived another storm. That's all right. Uh, let's make more glass. This glass is good. Glass is my friend. Lots of glass. Assuming I, I can actually... There. Kick that into action. Kick that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, Halt. There we go. The watermelon's going again since I ruined the last batch. Okay, we've got everything we need to make ourselves some booze. I only needed, wow, I only needed five of those flowers. I got 202. <laughs> I think we're going to be set for wine for a little bit. If I had to guess. Mark my house? I did mark my house. It's right here. Oh yeah, well, you know what, let's, let's properly mark it. Make it a little more accurate. As long as I get in the right general area, we'll be able to spot it at least. It's relatively tall, plus it's got that old fence thing going on. I have epoxy in here. Worth what I need to cook with epoxy. Nothing, that's what. Get out of there. Okay, we've got wine. Uh, we need to make another bottle of beer. Yuki no Neko one with a super chat. I think you need to take the smaller animals to your table to get their heads. Oh, maybe. I hadn't actually tried that. I don't think it even shows their heads though on the taxidermy table. Like I don't I don't think that's an option. Uh let's leave that. I'm gonna make more of the animal fat because I mean, why not? Just can you eat that straight? No, you can't. Next best thing to butter, animal fat. Say so. Uh, where do I have all my leather hiding? Somewhere I've got leather. Uh, leather. Let's make a bunch of these. Maybe I used up a little bit. Yeah, so here's the, uh, the taxidermy table. It doesn't have an option to do any of the, uh, any of the smaller animals as a trophy. So I think that's, uh, no luck there.
What's a little bit of lightning? About a billion joules? It's 1.21 gigawatts. Gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts? Wait, Scott. Okay, got a little more ash in here. Got a little oxygen. That'll be good. Okay. He's okay. All right, I have a decent amount of uh, decent amount of coal ore. I also stocked up a little bit on uh, on sulfur because I was using it for making epoxy. So I've got a decent amount of that in there too. We don't have like a proper gun or anything, but what are you gonna do? Team corn's going bad. Oh god, no, no, don't go bad. I mean, it constantly goes bad. There's not really a lot I can do about it. But cream corn will give me 75 stamina, 150 max health, and then I'll have the two different alcohols that'll give me uh, like a, like double up my my stamina generation and give me the the bonus stamina. So I think we'll be in pretty good shape that way. Uh, where did I leave the corn or the carrots? There we go. I do want a fridge, but I don't know if I could be bothered making one. Yeah, I can tell the green corn's nasty. Yeah, it, I agree. <laughs> Can't really argue that. Okay, I'm thinking this wall here would be a good wall to be a glass wall. But what does it take to craft a glass walls? Where do I craft glass walls? Do I, wait a minute, do I need the tier 4 bench to craft glass walls? Because if so, that sucks. Shouldn't, oh wait, no, I gotta do it on the glass working bench, that's right. That's right, I gotta go back here. I remember seeing on some science show that a quote from Back in the Future was correct on the amount of energy in a lightning bolt. Don't know though, can't remember which show. Could be. Oh, I need epoxy and iron ingots for this here glass wall. That's disappointing. L crud. I mean, the epoxy is easy enough to get. I've got a bunch of bunch of sulfur. It's the uh, the iron. I guess they're going to propose a problem because I, I don't really have much iron right now, which is why I did that whole drilling thing. Make it daytime. We might have to pause on the uh, the glass wall for a bit. Could we get some iron? I feel like this game needs a coffee machine, so like when you get up in the morning, you can come out on your deck, watch the sun come up, drink some coffee. Oh wait, they do have coffee. I just don't have any. It's in a thermos. Hmm. You like coffee mugs, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna take these. I don't know if I should bother bringing a shelter with me or not. I don't think I will. We're gonna rough it this time. We're going shelterless. Uh, I should bring... Somewhere here I have a bedroll and a fire pit, though. We should bring those. Oh, wait, the bedroll's up topside. You know what I never did? I was gonna make a bed bed. And then I didn't, didn't. Leather, fur, and nails. Well, I mean, fur we've got plenty of. Copper nails I got. Oh, there's leather in there too. Ta ta ta! Proper bed, and then we can take our bedroll with us. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should be more prepared. I don't know. There we go. Now we finally got a proper bed. Beautiful. Okay, so that gives me those. That's good. Good, good, good. 
Very, very good. Uh, we're going to the desert, so I don't have to worry so much about, like, evil snow conditions, at least. Oh, man, that lantern's already, like, half empty. The thing drains fast. Yep, my respawn, uh, respawn point set. I got it. I think I did. I was pretty sure I hit it. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Beauty. No, it's half full. What's half full? Maybe it's half full. What's fat? What? Who? What? Need some more enemies. Match builds are pretty good in the desert. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I have enough materials here. I could, I could probably make a wooden one. Make some wood for a fire. Okay, right. uh, fiber. Fiber, because there's a ton of it in here. All right, we'll make we'll make a super basic structure. I don't need anything fancy. Roof, floor, and four walls will cut it. Maybe we'll do a couple ramps too, just in case I find myself in a position where I need to get elevated because stuff's gonna eat my face, or if I have to like go up and down some weird incline or something. Oh, uh, I need more wood. I have to go up and down some sort of weird incline or something. It would be handy to have a couple ramps on me too. Take like four. These ones I can destroy. Okay, so we can pretend we're more prepared now. <laughs> oh, I also only have 18 arrows, and that's probably something that I'm going to want to rectify. Uh, I need a lot of leather, though. That I do not have. What do I use all the leather for? Can't be those, those stone walls I have completely surrounding my base. That'd make no sense at all. I hear the wolf sniffing! Ooh, man. Take him with me. You know, I never did make a skinning bench, did I? Uh, nope, 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 I guess I didn't. Darn it. All right. Let's get him right here in the middle of the living room. It's fine. I can't fix this knife. It's uh, it's the one from the station, so unfortunately it's uh, kind of like one size fits all. Once it's broken, it's toast. More weather. Uh, bone arrows. That's a good chunk. Just wanted a nibble. He was sniffing at my house, man. Can't have strange wolves sniffing at my house. Next thing you know, they're gonna be peeing on my wall. I don't approve. Distinctly disapprove. back. Uh, I think I'll keep these supplies on me so I can use them for uh, crafting more arrows as the opportunity arises. I'm going to bring some of these suture kits with me because lord knows I'm going to need them. Maybe we'll leave one here in case a bear or something kills me then when I respawn I can heal myself. <laughs> Oh, tree sap. Let's go. Yeah, the wolves are the one peeing on my wolves. Yeah. It definitely wasn't me. It was some weird wildlife thing. Marking their territory and such. 
You take the time to make a nice gun. Well, I, ha I am a little bit constrained for resources. So I have, uh, well, where's the, the hunting rifle is the, the next tier up. It's tier four. I'm about 35 steel ingots short of making the bolt action rifle. Uh, plus crafting a bunch of, uh, bunch of ammo. So I don't think that's a terribly viable option. But this recurve bow is pretty decent. I mean, it does a, de a pretty good amount of damage. That's right. We don't plan ahead around here. We just rush in face first, headlong, guns, blades, and whatever. Honestly, I love how this, and the wolves in this game can damage solid stone structures. Yeah, wolves, bears, etc. I, I saw. It. I saw something on, uh, what was it, the Phil DeFranco show today, where he, there was like a 500 pound bear breaking into people's houses and stealing their food. <laughs> He's like this giant chonker of a bear. Kind of epic. Alright, yeah, we're just down to the, I need the ingots. Maybe we'll, let's go see how much iron this thing's produced now. A little windy out here, but we can handle wind. Oh man, I forgot to drink. We've got too much blood in our alcohol system right now. Oh, that's better. Woo! <laughs> That'll give us a really good boost of stamina. Was Putin riding the bear? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure just a giant chonker of a bear looking for food. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> I wonder if you're landing too hard on these actually damages them. Ow. Still drilling away. 26. Well, I mean, it's more than zero. Good amount of fuel in here, though. So that took about a that took about a quarter of the fuel tank. So we'll get around 100, uh, 100 iron ore, which is not, it's really not great. But for something I didn't have to spend any time mining up, I guess it could be worse. The fact that I can set it and forget it and come back later is kind of handy. Did I bring the bear necessities? It's just the bear necessities, the very bear necessities. Don't fall through the floor, please. There we go. Charm Smith, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Duplicant. Appreciate the support. Welcome, welcome. Can you put multiple drills? It looks like no. Um, at least not on, on that node. I don't know if there's bigger nodes than that. I, I suspect not, but when you when you go to place the drill, there's only a single place it can be put, and it does like the shadow for it or whatever. Now, if you had like drills going in multiple caves, that would work. We did find another cave that had uh, a copper deep node in it that we could be mining. But it looks like only one per actual node. Our booze. My, my limiting factor right now is the bottles. You should make more bottles. Keep that booze supply up. Uh, oh right here. I wanted to make more steel. Four. Good grief. The watermelon before I leave. Yeah, these are not even close to being ready. 25%. Join an auto selected 144p, not 1440p, but 144p. Yeah, YouTube does that sometimes. 
every now and then I'll get someone that will join the stream and they're like, wow, why are you streaming at such low quality? This is really terrible. And I'm like, well, YouTube probably just lowered your setting. It's not actually that bad. At least the video quality is not that bad. The general content quality, that's up for debate, but... Feel ingot. Well, actually, that smells pretty fast. I thought that would take longer. Oh, recycling? Recycling what? If I leave, my watermelons will dry, die. You're, you're right, they might. But they're going to take like a couple days to grow. And then probably a couple days to go bad. The reason they went bad before was just because I had spent a bunch of time... Uh, gathering stone and stuff to make cement for that dropship. So I was in-game a bunch. Probably make some more of this fanciful stuff. Where? Oh, I need the water. Oh, I should refill my oxygen tank before I go, too. That might be something worth doing. We'll drop that in here. Need some air. It'll take a bit. Bottles as an Oregonian, I feel personally attached. You're very attached to bottles? You don't need air, that's just a lie from Big Oxygen. <laughs> yeah, darn those Big Oxygen overcharging me. I pay more for my oxygen than any other country in the world. YouTube likes to put the volume at 100% and set the quality to 720p. I have to adjust it every time I watch a video. I just will not remember the setting. Oh, really? That's funny. Mine's actually pretty good about remembering the settings of things, but... I, I think I probably watch more more stuff on YouTube on my phone than on my computer, even. Although I do put uh, YouTube on oftentimes when I'm working. President's group cracks open a can of Perrier. <laughs> We have 20 kills yet? Uh, no. Don't think so. Can't we, we officially can't be having fun yet because we're not at 20 kills. I'm sorry. Been slacking. All right. We're reasonably equipped to go. I mean, hopefully we won't die. We're we're headed off on a little bit of a road trip now. Minus the road. We've got to go way off to the east. Um. I'll be batting down the hatches here, make sure everything's closed up. Don't this, any storm weather wrecking my day. Alright. Off to the east we go! Spare torch! Eh, we can make one along the way. It's easy enough to gather materials. Not super worried about that this time. Going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Uh, I found my first obstacle. Water. So much water. Uh, let's go. The, we'll take the low road. <laughs> Clearly, we're gonna have to get up the mountain at some point. <laughs> what is with this Riverlands, man? There's so much water here. This isn't working. No! Go all the. Go the long way around. Come on. Oh. Not up there. Oh, there we go. If the back door open comes home to find animals in the house. Yeah. There'd be like uh, some deer in there, just a kicking back and having some beer. Bears and wolves playing cards in the corner. Good thing I didn't give them a table. Maybe if they don't have a card table, they won't hang around. Um, I can't get up here.
That's better. I knew those ramps would come in handy. How do animals breathe without oxide? Uh, I presume they're just breathing the air. I, the only thing I can think of is the, the premise is supposed to be that they were on the planet at the point of terraforming, and so they were modified genetically somehow in the process. Whereas humans were not. Sorry, actually, I'll try harder. I haven't even seen a bear yet today. But I don't really want to try hard when I'm, like, really far away, because that... Man, the stamina boost from, like, the double alcohol is amazing. Cover a ton of ground. Must have built your base in the bear's traditional mating grounds. I've been attacked by five bears a day. Sometimes they come in pairs. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen them come in pairs before, but, uh, oh. Uh, I'm guessing we're not going straight east. <laughs> Is how there's this minor obstacle in front of us. I definitely run into bears a lot, but I can't say I've ever seen a pair of them. Cannot spare a bear. Cannot spare a pair of bears. Just isn't a bear to spare. Of mine. I kind of wish we could mark these things on the map. That's it. This is actually a little bit far away. It's probably not worth coming this far over to get four, but. What about. You know what? What are the odds that this might have. Some exotics in it. I did want to get some exotics this time. Oh, there's platinum. I'm gonna take the platinum for sure. Found him before he could shoot. We'll get the platinum here. Be nice to get the platinum pickaxe just so that we have uh, of that available. There are my arrows. Oh, there's another another iron node here. More deep mining opportunities. Alright, that's it. Okay, I can't really afford to load myself down with a ton of stuff if we're going to be running off somewhere in the desert. I don't know what we're going to wind up encountering that I might need to carry as well. Uh, but we'll bring the platinum with us because it's platinum. I need some more. You got platinum, baby! Is that it? Just one measly little note of platinum in here? Oh wait, here's another one. I guess we're staying here a minute anyway, there's another thunderstorm. I think that was it for the platinum in here. Titanium up there. Yeah. Alright, sweet. As long as I don't go plaid. <laughs> We've got plaid. I think this will count as shelter here. 
Relax and get my bearings. Ha. Uh. It would be nice if, is if the animals reacted to the weather in some way. But like, there's this epic thunderstorm going on with this crazy lightning, and the, that, that board just sort of, like, sauntered across the opening of the cave out there. It'd be interesting if they, like, if they ran around a little bit more crazy or something when there was a storm, or, like, ran for cover. And if there were clouds, too, that'd be good. <laughs> the whole blue sky lightning is a bit weird. Kino Nako with the super chat. Do you remember a TV show called Scarecrow and Mrs. King? Uh, I don't know that I, I don't know if I do or not. Oh, I got pneumonia. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I, I'm not sure to be honest. Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Now I gotta have to look it up. Oh, that does look familiar. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I have, I've seen that. I don't remember the episodes, but I definitely have seen it. That's funny. Man, the shows from the 80s, weren't they just priceless? <laughs> no way, Buffalo. But yeah, I didn't start that fire. That was lightning. This time, I, it really was lightning. I, I, did, I didn't do it. I know there was that one incident that I blamed it on a storm, but this one really was a storm. Got super annoyed at a mission yesterday. Got the mining drill and gas can, but the three Ks near me were two gold and one sulfur. Not the resources I need because I didn't have a fab. Oh, that sucks. I've had uh, the the three that I've found so far were two iron and one copper. Uh, yeah, two iron and one copper. It's pretty good actually. God, I don't think I got a headshot on. Definitely wasn't. There we go. You've only found silica and sulfur. Silica is an option to get for a deep node? That's cool. I didn't realize you could get those types of materials as a deep node. I guess I just never occurred to me that you might be able to. Don't need this fur. Might as well keep the weight down. Oh, I just missed the the uh, expiration of a thing of cream corn too. I 
wonder what the other bears will say to the other one that comes back with like 10 arrows sticking out of their face. They're like, oh, Harold, you got piercings? Those are so godly. So gaudy. What's your mother gonna say? <laughs> I read that running trick with a polar bear and it got me. Not sure what I did differently, but uh, that I've been doing before. Yeah, it apparently it works with them also, but polar bears scare the heck out of me, and I have not successfully done that with them. I don't think they're so much bigger and more imposing. I don't know. I hate the pokiest human today. <laughs> Mind your own business, Pumba. Think you can dodge a real bear? I'm not gonna try. They do say that if you're running away from a bear, you should run zigzags or something, because they, they run faster in a straight line, but... I would prefer not to ever actually find out how effective that is. Wait a minute, are we going to a cold biome? Downhill bears have longer back legs. <laughs> well, I mean, if if you're if you're gonna plan your surprised by a bear moment, I guess. But most people don't get to choose the uh, the place where they get surprised. <laughs> How come you can't get bacon? I don't know. I wish you could. Bacon would be good. Bacon. Got a lot of animals in here. What the heck, man? Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, okay, that's actually kind of reassuring. For two reasons. One... As long as there's not a polar bear here, I can get some snow, and we can use that for my ice box to start keeping some stuff fresh back at the house. Two, I was a little worried I wasn't going to be prepared for what I needed. Uh, I definitely, I don't have any, like, fur armor or anything on, and you only get, you only get some benefit out of the hunting armor. Hopefully this stuff's not too heavy. More snow. What are we up to? 32. Uh, oh man, look at all this meat I got on me. Another bear. I would prefer not to tangle with the bear. Get the hill snow, it's lemon flavored. Oh, sweet. Ain't no lemon crime. I may be wrong, but it seems a little cold here. My mask is starting to ice up. <laughs> 68 snow. 69. Now we got the perfect amount. Get out of here. Awesome. Now we can have cold beer. Let's eat.
What are the odds that this wolf sees me? Negative now. That's called catch and release. <laughs> Run up to the bear and ask him for a Charmin. <laughs> like, listen, the toilet paper I got, it's not cutting it. I need something that's a little more softer on my tushy. Bear. Bear for me. Don't squeeze the Charmin. I say, I never had the idea of eating a dog treat. What's his now? I play while I watch the stream. GTA 5 just caused three or seven days to die. I don't know, whatever you prefer, I guess. I squeezed in a little bit of Dark Souls 3 earlier today for myself. I'm trying to get all primed up for Elden Ring tomorrow. Elden Ring. And I realized earlier today, too, that I've had Elden Ring on my Nexus for, like, ever. <laughs> I think I added it, like, a month or two ago. Completely forgot it was on there. Is my lantern on? Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. God, I didn't realize it was on. Darn it. The one downside to having that uh, little button I can hit to light stuff up on my hip. I waste it constantly. Out of the way, Shammy. Or bear. There's a bear. <gasps> Haven't heard the cancer of the Elder Ring due to lack of interest. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> as if. There's a surprising amount of hype uh, for that game coming out. All the reviews are already coming out like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 9 and a half out of 10, or whatever. Nutty. This is a long run. Get around like a dirt bike or a Segway or something. Let's play Karmic Thing Simulator in real life tomorrow and swap summer rims. Oh, good times. Real PETA to go through Bear Alley over and over again. Yeah, no, no doubt. I want to see what we need, and then I can just, I'll stock up on all of it, and prep it all, and then when we're ready, we can just, like, run it back here. Trouble is that, um, my, uh, my escape pod is, like, way back the other way, too, so even, even when we do bring it all here, like, we still have to make the trip back. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Good thing I got the backpack that reduces stra sprains. Ah, we're good. Remember when video game reviews meant something? Pepperidge Farms remembers. To make multiple upposts on your way to a mission. I mean, I guess you could, but it probably would make more sense just to kill a bunch of animals, like so we'll, like build the build a little shack out here, set up a, a crafting table, make the oxide dissolver, and like make the oxygen right next to the rocket. What the severe desert winds? Well, let's just avoid that. Not so severe when I stand over here. 
Oh, great. Rain. We try and walk into a cave at the end of the mission and hit unstuck. Yeah, that feels cheesy, though. I know you can do it. I just... I don't know. I have a moral objection for my own gameplay, I think. Yeah, we don't need to eat. We got plenty. We got food in me when I eat things. Instead, we'll drink more alcohol, because that's cause of and solution to all of life's problems. All this meat. Too much meat. This desert storm coming. Beer desert winds. I wonder how bad are these winds? Can I? Oh, that's pretty severe. Then we can wait it out. Dead animal laying in the middle here. Just a rock, but it, <laughs> it looked like an animal carcass. Too bad this doesn't count as shelter. Hey, back to look around. Apocalyptic realm, how you doing? Just a rock. He was a big rock. Ooh, rock at him. It's gonna be nighttime soon here. What's that? 1624? 1824 rather? So it's Fox, there's a dead animal carcass here. Rock, I have ascended. <laughs> Down, hyena. Where's your two by one? I mean, I have it on me. I just haven't bothered to build it. It would just take damage and stuff, and then I have to fix it. That doesn't cater to my laziness at all. The pixelation is real. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Like, it's supposed to look like sand, I think. Supposed to look like sand blowing all over the place because it's a storm, but... Uh, I'm gonna set my shelter back here. Because we're gonna need to sleep for the night anyway. If this antelope will get out of my house... <gasps> That's a cougar. Maybe we'll set up back here. Alright, we need, uh... Campfire? Can't even see on my floor right now. Hopefully that's not too close. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, that's Puma coming in here. Go away, Pumba. Oh, 
got him while he was sleeping. That was rude. So rude. Obviously, Fox has never learned that ancient wisdom never trust a fart. Says you. Maybe your farts just aren't trustworthy. Did you ever think of that? Of course you didn't. I don't need all the resources, but the leather off these guys will come in handy. Nope. As I don't take it. <laughs> Oh, they gotta stick it all the way around the corner there, don't they? Like, they couldn't just give me a direct route to get to it. <laughs> so typical. Oh, lantern, thank you. Uh, oop, those things, lantern off. We've, we've wasted like half the fuel in the darn lantern already. <laughs> no! Oh boy. Okay, that could have gone bad. Rotten cougars? Bad. I just won't take no for an answer. Yeah, no, no shortage of leather now. We got, uh, we got tons of leather. I don't, I don't actually need to take any more. Dust up with the super chat. Thanks, Acrylic Fox. I poop my pants. Oh, but um, bump. That was a painful pun. Thanks for the super chat and the bad pun. I like bad puns. <laughs> Poop my pants. Well, I got to watch you live. First time, are great videos. Welcome, Chris. Glad you're able to make it. Glad you enjoy the content, too. Uh, cougars. Too many cougars. A bad night at the club out here. An elephant head while you're in the desert. <laughs> can we get an elephant head? Is it, is it, are elephants one of the ones we can actually do on the uh, the table? I don't remember. Oh, I've been killing all those cougars. I could have been getting a cougar head. Sure, that's one we can do. I've been slacking. Amy. Speaking of elephants, found one. Oh, bad day for you. Taking a nap. He's fine, really. Just has a bit of a headache.
Can we get an elephant head? Nope. Nope. I'm not even sure if that's a thing that we can do with the taxidermy bench. How much older do they have to be to get, be considered a cougar? I don't know what the uh, the cutoff there is. I don't know, 20 years older or something like that? <laughs> Maybe the desert will either bite you, stab you, or stick you. Yeah. Can you get a zebra head? I don't think so. No, it's all, it seems to be only the predator animals. Like, I think we can get cougar. We'll try that. Since I, uh, I didn't, I didn't use the taxidermy knife on the other ones we skinned. Betty White was a cougar for Fox. Oh, Betty White. What a funny lady. Okay, I got a cougar head. Oh, wait a minute, there's snow right there. Oh my god! I came the long way around! <laughs> I didn't know there was... Know there was a path right there! Aww. Oh. Okay, well... We've got alternatives to go back at least. They're elephant. And I learned something today. I wish he would stop walking. I want this first arrow shot to count. That didn't count. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, he took him down! <laughs> Oh, I thought I was dead. A ching, level up. Uh, we heard what's coming in the week 11 update. No, I don't think so, but they normally announce that on like Fridays, I think, right? Something like that. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, land on an animal. Oh, God. I thought you were dead. Stay back. I'm already wounded. Oh. Um. Can I get rid of? You know what? I'll, I'll keep bleeding for a little bit. It's fine. I'm sure it won't attract any predators. All right. Get that stuff back to orbit. There we go. Hooray! We're not bleeding anymore. It's a problem that we're in the desert drinking alcohol. Doesn't seem like the most intelligent choice, maybe. All right, so we need uh, sixty thousand biofuel, five thousand oxygen. Uh, what does one biofuel canister consist of? Ten thousand. So I need five more biofuel canisters, and then in terms of the oxygen bladders, each each uh, each bladder counts for. Oh. What? That's 50 bladders we have to fill up. Oh my god. And they don't stack. Is there even enough room in here for that? <laughs> oh, what do you want? Get out of here. We invited you. Okay, so... Wow. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of oxygen bladders. About 46 wood. I 
Great. Can't even make a crafting bench. Well, I think we're going to go with the steel, uh, the steel oxygen canisters. Let's see how much it holds. It could probably, uh, probably make oxygen. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to need to make oxygen tanks. Like this thing holds X number. It doesn't really say how much is in these things. I see. All right. Well, I was going to craft the oxygen out here, but I don't know if I want to now. That's going to take forever. It'll take freaking years. I don't and I don't have any wood, so then it's problematic anyway. At least we got it on the map now. I can or I got the like the objective listed, so I can I can get the canisters of everything I need and just bring it. Definitely does tell you how much they hold. 0 0.1 kilograms times one one hundred percent one X I don't know Looks like I'm visiting your home. You live in a desert? Nice. Tanks hold five K. Yeah, I guess I'll just make the tanks. So we can make two more of the oxygen bladders back at home. We'll make a bunch of tanks. And then we'll haul them all back here. Maybe the space stuff doesn't say. Yeah, that could be. Could be that. <sighs> And a campfire? What's this about a campfire? I have a campfire on me. I have a campfire, I have a bedroll, I have a, a basic shelter. But in order to smelt, or sorry, in order to uh, to make all the oxygen out here, we'll have to find like all kinds of uh, sulfur and stuff. I don't know. We'll just go home. We'll make it all there. We'll bring it all back when we're ready. At least I found it and I have the... Uh, I have the mission objectives now in terms of the quantities. Travis in the super chat. Put your tank in the ship. Base your mount on that. Well, is the tank that I have, though, more than, the, than what the steel tank holds? Or is it the same? Either way, I'm not, really, not going to run back to the ship. I'll, I'll just assume each one's 5,000. Because the blotters were 1,000. And we'll plan accordingly. Or I'll make one of the tanks and see if it tells me what the quantity is. Definitely gonna need a whole lot more iron though. With the higher tier oxidizers, don't remember the name, be more efficient to give you the O2 you want. It probably would, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, th I think somebody had actually suggested earlier, I don't know, the other day or something, that we uh, we should bring one of the uh, the higher tier oxidizers with us to do the job out there, but... Eh, it's fine. It's all good. We'll make, a, we'll make one back at home so we can speed up the process back there. I got all the smelting equipment and everything there anyway. Just make 50 bladders, keep it... 50 bladders is an awful lot. I can't even carry 50. Do the backpacks disappear? How do you mean by disappear? They're, they're, you actually have a slot for the backpack now. It's, it used to go in this spot here, but they made a separate spot for it now, so now this is where the backpack shows up. Higher tier is a pig on biofuel. Well, I mean, I'm not super worried about that, I guess. Once we get enough biofuel anyway for our, our requirements. I need, uh, I need a bunch of iron to make 
uh, biofuel canisters, because they don't have enough to actually store the biofuel we can make. So there's that, too. Wait, 12 tanks, my mind's frazzled. Well, one one of the um one of the biofuel canisters had 10,000 in it, so that gives me only five more of those I need. And then we need uh basically like nine of the uh the oxygen tanks and two bladders to top it up. Yeah. It would be handy if stuff stacked, but I guess it would also be that much more unrealistic, because that'd be a crazy amount you could carry at once. If I were asked how you know where you are on the map, oh yeah, if I hit, uh, if I hit M, then it shows right here. There's my arrow, it shows the direction I'm facing. Um, this is where our base is, this is where the objective is. And then you can kind of slide it around. And then it's got the grid pattern, so you can see like what letter grid you're in. Or, like, or sorry, letter number. Yeah, this one's pretty far away. We built right next to the first dropship, but there's two dropships on this mission. It gave us 30 days in total to do the mission, though, so it doesn't really matter if we have to run, I guess. Not really that big a deal. Um, I could have pushed to do this mission faster, but I just... I felt like spending some time on planet this time. I feel like we always... We build up, and then we rush to get off the planet, and then it's all gone, and then we gotta start all over again building up again. So this time we intentionally overbuilt, made a base that was way bigger than we needed. I'm going to try and get some exotics while we're on the surface this time and try to make use of that base a little bit before we take off since we have uh, 30 days to complete the mission. Yeah, mission gives great cardio. Plus we get to enjoy the scenery a little bit. Need to go that way. So much stamina. Hey, look at that. Isn't that great? Beautiful. Just beautiful. I have to go that way. Uh. I wonder if it's better to try to get up here or just cross the water and go around. Possible exotic deposits are in C2 and F4. Uh, oh, well, where's the, uh, hold on, let me look up the Icarus map here. Icarus cave map. So, I'm in F4 right now. Oh, it's by the waterfall. This should be a cave, like, right about here. Maybe we can get our hands on some, uh, some exotics. Uh, I don't need a lot of silica right now. If, if we make some glass walls and stuff, we're gonna need some for that. But I'm gonna try and, uh... Not overload myself with silica at the moment. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> I was all turned around in directions, but this is the this is the place where Nate and I built our base at one time. We had our base like right on that little outcropping of rock up there. That's funny. Didn't recognize it right away. Where is that cave? I didn't see it when I was playing with Nate before.
Theoretically, it should be somewhere right around here. Or maybe it's on the bottom face of this thing? Hmm. Um, nope, I don't know. Next to the left waterfall. I don't see it here. And where I went splat. Yep, that's accurate too. I went splat a couple times here. <laughs> I'm not seeing a cave here though. Oh wait, wait, wait. There it is. Oh man. How did we not see that all the times we were we were playing? Funny. I mean I have a pretty good idea. I'm not terribly observant, but It's me. We're working on my Dark Soul skills. My arrows, man. Well, I think it's safe to say there's no exotics in here. We're exoticless. Checked in for a bit. What kind of GPU are you rocking, Fox? I'm using uh, an Aorus uh, Gigabyte 3090. 32 gig. I upgraded my whole PC last year, actually. I, I was uh, I was starting to get to the point where the the system I had was bumping against the ceiling on some games, particularly given that I stream from the same computer that I play games on. So I finally uh, I pulled the trigger and I decided to upgrade. Uh, it was stupid expensive because, well, you know, computers are expensive right now, the whole GPU business, but totally worth it. Just really expensive is all. Oh, lamp, thanks. Probably should have grabbed the platinum, but oh, you know what? Let's not mess with that bear. <laughs> I think I changed my mind. Uh, our base is back here somewhere. Ooh, choppy. I'll have to restock on alcohol when we get back home here. Yeah, I turned the lamp off. Thank you. I think I did anyway. Yeah. Poke the bear. <laughs> Crypto got a $3.2 million PC. No, definitely not. <laughs> it's not the most expensive thing you can get, but it uh, it was a significant upgrade over what I had, and it's been, been great. I can safely say if, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would not have bought it. <laughs> it would have been too expensive for me otherwise. But I could justify it because I was using it for this. Uh, 
Biochemist, man, we got all kinds of science people here. Chemistry people and things. I'm jealous, because after I did Killer Chem my first year university, I decided I did not want to do it anymore. <laughs> Lasted organic chemistry. Organic chemistry was the reason I changed my major as well. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> Just awful. I passed, but I hated every moment of it, and I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. Oh my god, I'm that close to home already? Sweet. Bear in my yard. Yeah, cam's easy. I made extra money at uh, unit of tutoring people in it. Nice. You know what? I, what I hated most about chemistry was the memorization. To be honest, I ended up switching my switching to business. I, I hit my first year university. I was in the biomedical science program at Guelph University as a pre med course. That cured me of my interest, and uh, and I switched over to business. And, and the big thing I find with business is that. Um, there's so much less memorization involved. You're, it's more about understanding a concept and a principle and then applying it. More so than just... Like, having to memorize the, uh, the periodic table of elements or whatever. That appealed to me just so much more. I ran out of, oh my god, I ran out of berries? Holy crap. How many berries does it take to make wine? Ten. Oh. Alright. Build composer slash sound designer. Man, we've got all kinds of cool professional people in my chat. These are awesome. They're all way more interesting than I am. <laughs> Might need the leathers. So I'm gonna just stash this all over here. You know what? Let's put the bed and everything here too. Why not? This textile bench has basically just become my uh, storage bench anyway. Uh, let's take the perishables. We can stash them in here, so stuff might actually stay fresh now that I've got proper ice box working. Turn this into charcoal. My god, this is a... Wait, the storm. It's really loud. You know what our watermelons are doing out here. Nice. This is how we do gardening here in Canada. We just do it right in the storms. There we go. Blended. Put my cream corn away too. I'm not gonna use that right now. Uh, I gotta get my hands on some berries so we can make some more wine because gotta have wine. Right? Can't go wrong with the booze. Boozy. I've been carrying the steel that entire time. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Needs are chilling the snow in March to get ready. Yeah, pretty much, right? You're a professional bum. <laughs> My job's boring. I'm the payroll admin for a government electrical contractor.
Lots of interesting people, though. Everybody's got something interesting to add. You guys are all cool. Um. Oh, I want to go check the, uh... Go check the drill and see how it's doing. I, I, uh, funny enough, I need the iron out of it so that I can make more fuel canisters so that I can refuel it. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't have any fuel canisters I can use. Feels like spring here in Sweden, only minus three. Yeah, we had, uh, we had some days here this past week that uh, were warm, well, warmer. It was like plus four and raining. Washed all the snow away and then it got cold and started to snow again. Fortunately, it didn't accumulate this time, but uh, I feel like somebody needs to repair this ramp and I don't know who it's going to be, but someone needs to do it. raining in here. Get back my arrows. Stay away from my drill while you're at it too, you jerks. I actually don't know if they'll attack it or not. Seem to be leaving it alone, that's a plus. No, I want my arrows! Ah! Oh, there we go. Yeah, one of them anyway. Oh, there's more. Alright. Another 65. This is kind of a slow process, but it... Didn't involve me having to actually mine it up, I guess. I don't know. I am a little hungry, I guess. Turns out we should probably eat something. There we go. Go to F2 cave. Large and no worms. F2. There's a cave up here. Oh, way up there. Uh, there's a- the cave is like right up in here, huh? I'm currently over here, and my base is here. There's also a cave over here that has no worms and is huge and has like just a ton of nodes in it. Uh, there's a cave right in this spot here. We can go check out. That I haven't been to yet. That might prove, uh, fruitful also. Any time. I got enough, uh... Well, I can make a, f a few more ingots anyway. Well, this thing's in a horrible state of repair. Yeah, you know, maybe I should fix this thing. I don't think... I don't know if the storm will ever actually knock it down, but... One of these times I'm gonna fall through a gap or something. <laughs> What about caves like the big one you're talking about? Oh, is it? It's like a cave that's not a cave? Hey, Lady Laura, how you doing? So bright compared to the fire torches. Yeah, the lantern's great. Although I've, I've noticed now that even just having the, um... The carrying spot for the light seems to make the torches seem brighter. Maybe because it's not in your face. You said you get the light kind of casting behind you and around you. Instead of like right in front of your face. Beauty.
Yeah, the carrier is it's this spot right here. They added it to the left of your of your other items, and then they put a backpack slot in here too, so you can have a backpack, and then still carry things on your back that are like the uh, the scanning machines or carcasses or whatever. Great. Home sweet home. Oh wait, I got the uh, the forges up back here. Oh yeah, I need to go get. Oh, and it's it's for the wine. I need the berries, but yeah, I gotta go get some. Uh, I get some of those. So do I have any or anything? Oh, there I got one ingot there. Oh right, the platinum. Melt that stuff up. Uh, I need more fuel in there. I think this is what we use for iron. I'm gonna take half of this coal and use it over here. Coal lasts longer than wood does. There we go. Sweet. I'd like to make the platinum pickaxe and bring it with us. Yeah, the G-spot items. <laughs> Always the G-spot. Doing great. Are you tonight? I'm good. Middle of the week. Middle of a short week for me. I have both uh, Monday and Friday off this week. Which uh, does concentrate some of my work into a few days. Sometimes I'm being a little busy, but... Nice to take the time off to do something fun. Ingots. Okay, so those... Wait a minute, where's that other oxygen bottle? Is it in the tier 4 bench? In the fabricator bench? Oh, crud. I have to make a... Ah. Oh. Yeah. Right. What the heck is it? What the heck is it? Can't be tier two item, is it? Ah, uh, two or three below the fire extinguisher. Thank you. Oh, there it is. I didn't have it unlocked. Shh. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find the darn thing to craft it. <laughs> I didn't even have it unlocked. That's skills right there. Mad skills. All the skills. Alright, so that tank is going to require 20 steel ingots each, which is quite a bit, actually. And four epoxy, but we make it the machining bench. That's not... Uh, I need to make more of the, uh, more of the biofuel cans. It takes 25 ingots, sadly, for each one of those. So we're going to need 125 ingots just to, just to get enough of the, uh, the biofuel canisters. But definitely some mining to be done, that's for sure. Wednesday's your birthday. Well, happy early birthday. Wait a minute, today's Wednesday, isn't it? Next Wednesday, I assume you mean. Oh yeah, next week, I see. Monday and Wednesday off next week. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Also, when I read the messages in order. Celebrating, celebrating Mardi Gras up in Canada? Man, I wish, but no. It's too cold. I've tried. I mean, I've, I've gone downtown and thrown beads at people, but, you know, it's so cold out. Nobody nobody responds appropriately when you throw beads at them. Mostly they just scowl at you like you've done something wrong. I don't know why. Ah, shot my... What? All right. I thought you could shoot out the windows, but apparently that's not a thing. That's weird. Damaged my window with my freaking arrow. That's not cool. Man. That's like the opposite of cool. Happy Mardi Gras from Acadian Cousins down south in New Orleans. Aw, oh, man, I wish I was in New Orleans right now. It's on, my, it's on my bucket list of places to go. 
Maybe bucket list isn't the right term. I want to get there long before I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, the window, the, the window will let weather in, but not arrows out physics. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, games. All the games. That's funny. Oh well. Not a biggie, I guess. Alright, we got 32. That'll get me another fuel canister. Then we got 12 more platinum ingots. That. Oh no, I can keep going. I've still got more left. I got 12 in total. So I think actually 12 will get me the pickaxe I need. Well, the pickaxe I want anyway, I guess. Feel pickaxe. Wait, is it not made in here? Maybe it's made in the uh, bench over here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Platinum pickaxe. So now when we go mining, that'll get us uh, a little bit better yield of our uh, our iron resources. I'm gonna leave the steel pickaxe here just in case. Not, I guess. Uh, we can make a fuel canister. All one of them. There we go. That's filling again. Bought the new Horizon game, it's pretty good. The uh, Forbidden West, yes. Looks pretty great, actually. I don't want to play it. Metal Oxide Dissolver. 20 electronics for that thing. Get out of here. Ain't nobody gonna do that. A lot of steel. So much steel. Remington Steel. Alright. Phil's tank's quick, though. I believe you. Uh, I mean, I, I can only benefit from it going so fast anyway, I guess. It's gonna take me a bit to compile all the steel we're gonna need. Down there. Nope, that don't work. <laughs> All right. Fine. Oh, I need to make uh, two more of the oxygen bladders, too, I guess. Just because we uh, we already put three in. Oh wait, go the front door. Yeah, no sulfur need is nice, but I've actually got quite a bit of sulfur, so I'm not really too worried about that. I have a couple hundred sulfur on me. Okay, we have to stop at the first cave because I think I left the uh, the forges in there. We'll want to bring those. Yep, sure did. <laughs> Remington Steel, you're really old. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> not that old. I'm just definitely not young so much anymore. Don't ask Rabbit. He'll say I'm old. Operation left hand after an accident it works. So you can't play games anymore. Ah, oh, no! Is it, it's got to be for a limited time, right? Hey, it ain't permanent. Mox is a dinosaur. I'm not a dinosaur. Those are extinct. I'm what came before dinosaurs. God. Permanent? Oh, man. That's harsh. 
to find alternative ways to play games, like with the like steering wheels or something. You remember watching Star Wars at the drive-in? Well, you've got one up on me then. I did. I didn't do that. Um. Huh. Thought the mine was like right back here. Seemed to have misplaced it. There it is. Oh. A little bit of stone at the entrance of this one. Good. We're in, baby. The tiny gave this one. No oh, three worms in it, though. And there's a reasonable amount of iron in here, so that's good. Good, 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 good. Plop these down right here. Things first. We're gonna need coal to, to fire these things. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. I get all the irons. See, Star Wars in 1977 in the cinema. Well, again, you guys are one up on me. I, I didn't. Uh, I was born in 1976, so I wasn't exactly watching Star Wars in 77. <laughs> I remember being 20 or 30 and thinking 45 was old. Now I'm 45 and I think 45 is old. <laughs> That's right, I'm older than Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> You weren't watching Star Wars in theaters that you remember. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I don't... My mom uh, was not into sci-fi stuff. I, I'm fairly certain she didn't see Star Wars in the theater. And neither was my dad. My dad was an old fart. But not strictly just by age. <laughs> Although he was like 15 years older than my mom. Okay, one, two, I got like 300 here, so let's go like this. Oop, probably should turn it on. Probably a good thing, right? These things would probably smell faster back at the base, but whatever. Actually, that much iron in here. Lots of everything else, though. Getting older is better than the alternative. Yes, fair enough. It's always better to be mowing the grass than growing it. Like one more iron node in here. We're probably gonna need to find another iron cave. Okay, 556 iron ore in the new backpack. Nice. That's a lot of ore. 
Let's look at copper while we're here too, I guess. Is there three or four gold? Uh, I think there's three in here. One. Oh, no, oh, no, there's four. One, two, three. So there's three back here, and then I think there was a fourth one up front here. Yeah. Four gold deposits. That's pretty good. If only I needed gold. We'd be set. What's this game about? Is it soloable? I've been playing it solo most of the time. It's more fun when you play with friends, but uh, it's definitely soloable. Basically, it's a, it's a survival game where this planet's been terraformed by people, but they screwed it up and they made the environment hostile to people. Like, it, you can't breathe without, uh, without a suit on. So, uh, I'm actually... You have these... Um, you have these suits that you wear, the blue one underneath here that's not the armor, it's like an environmental suit. In order to, to breathe on the planet. And you gotta like, uh, come down and complete missions for the different factions that control a space station that orbits the planet. Turns out there's stuff that's valuable down here that they want, called exotics. Oh, there is another thing there. Uh... There we go. So you come down here and do like different missions and stuff, but, uh... It, it it's uh it follows a lot of the the typical survival game tropes in terms of like chopping trees to gather wood, chopping stones to gather stone, building and unlocking things. Uh, the graphics are really nice for the environmental detail and stuff. Not super inventive in terms of the uh, the tree of things you unlock, but uh, I've had a lot of fun with it so far. But you can play with up to eight players in a single game in this one, I think. I don't know why you use coal for fuel when you need that coal for steel. Because I have a couple hundred coal back at the base already. And I just chopped more coal now. So I have now another 80 on me. It was just easy to, to drop it in there. More iron. It'll take a bit for that to smelt. Let he who smelted forever be the one who dealt it. What do you use gold for in the game? There's electronics that you can make that uh, require gold. Yes, Elden Ring is made by the same people as Dark Souls. Uh, it's from software. And then the, the primary developer in the game was the uh, primary developer for the Soul, uh, Dark Souls and for Bloodborne. But yeah. So more than just being a Souls like, it's it's from the same company and everything. It's it's like a continuation without being Dark Souls. It's something something else that's bigger now, but it has a lot of the same uh the same core heart to it. Not a super fun game called Craft Hope, you should check it out. And no, I'm not a rep. <laughs> I think uh Nate was playing Craftopia at one point. Uh he checked it out with uh with some people and was playing it a bit. Gold's need for composites too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need anything that's super advanced here this time around, so I'm not even sure I'm going to bother gathering the titanium and gold and stuff. We'd get XP for, for mining it up, but... Not super needed right now. Yeah, I've got cave lung, that's alright. I've got uh, antibiotics I can take when I want to get rid of it. Love building games, but I just couldn't get into Craftopia. I saw Nate playing it. It didn't seem super appealing to me. But, yeah. All the rings open world and you get a horse. Yeah, it's like a spectral horse, too. And there's places where you can, like, launch the horse, like, super high up into the sky and stuff. It looks... I, I cannot wait to play it. I've been anxiously waiting for the launch now. I'm gonna see if you have an exotic zone. Well, in he I I'm going to, um, during the mission... Oh, yeah, I guess I you're right. I will need... Rudd. Where is the scanner stuff? That's not Tier 4, is it? Oh, the extractor's Tier 4. 
So I guess I am going to need... Uh, shoot. At a, bare, at a bare minimum, I'm going to need the gold for electronics. And probably the aluminum too. Eh, crud. It just rained on my parade, man. Alright. I'm not going to have enough carrying capacity for all this. <laughs> Better to find out now than later, I guess. I have a little bit of gold back at the base, but probably not enough to make all the electronics that I'm going to need. Oh. Oh, maybe I should get rid of the, uh... Get rid of the cave lung. Maybe I'll leave the uh, coal here for now. If I put the coal up here, it's not gonna. I'm assuming it won't consume it. Oops. How much ore can I bring back with me? Not a lot. All right. So I'll let this go with the copper in here. We'll come back and get that after. This one can keep going with some of the uh, the iron ore. I'll take back what I've got here. Yeah. Why don't I just? Rather not run back and forth a hundred times. Well, two. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll bring it. Go this way. Nope, that didn't work. Didn't mess with it. I had it all sorted. Good enough. Let that go. Come back later and get it. Uh. All right. Going west! Hate when you get rain on your parade. <laughs> Fox is perfectly fine with horses, thank you very much. Horses are for crashing, right? That's how they're supposed to be used? I refill my lantern. Even though I kept forgetting to turn it off. There it is. Welcome back to Casa Shea Fox. Horses make good glue. <laughs> well, that was counterproductive. Okay, all these can go in here, and we can make some max uh, four more of those. Good. Some more iron smelting back here. Oh, come on! He walked right through my wall! Don't do it! That's my building! You jerk, he hit that for no reason. Point of having a wall if I can't even keep bears out. <laughs> My taxidermy knife. Let's see if we can mount another bear head. There we go. Time for a major thunderstorm. Good grief. On bears. Oh, I need fiber. Uh, I guess probably sticks will work too, I guess. If I have any wood. Crafting sticks. It like glitched through the wall. I don't know that I climbed over. That was like... Well, it was probably like the David Copperfield thing where you went through the Great Wall of China. Rotten copper bear. 
Hank the tank strikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't even come in through a door. I mean, like, how rude. Oh, I forgot to set the gold up for smelting. <laughs> Robo <laughs> Mr. Roboto, don't know how to got the Refill your iron deep vein drill. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got one canister of fuel in here that uh, I was gonna do that with my lantern ready. Take that back, uh, and then we've got uh, four more of these canisters we've crafted, so they can go in here. Get them fueling up. It's perfect. Oh, and we gotta make a bear thing. And a cougar thing. What am I oh, a sticks I'm missing. Need more sticks! Not the band. Yeah, we gotta refill the beard wine bottles. Uh, I actually have to go get some berries so that we can, uh... We can take care of our, uh, our wine crafting. It's gonna be one mean looking wall when we're done. More beer! What do you have to make to bring the cougars to your yard? Uh, my beer bottles bring all the cougars to the yard. That's right, they're better than yours. More berries. Guess I'm gonna be making a lot of wine. I should just plant some berries in the garden. This takes like 10 berries per bottle, I think. <laughs> yeah, alcohol usually works. Sure it does. Trouble is it always brings everybody to the yard, including the people you didn't really intend to invite. Like, oh, you're here. Ha <laughs> ha hi! Uh, go grab a beer! <laughs> yeah, those people. Hey Vox, uh, there's an idea how many raw meat you need to fill one canister with biofuel. Uh, you know, I really have no idea. What's the conversion rate on that? I got a bunch of raw meat. Good experiment. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't think I'm gonna bother planting berries. They're really easy to get. Okay. Four more bottles of that. More bottle of beer. Is this a double berry collection? No, all you get is fiber when you use it on the berries. It works for corn and it works for yeast. Uh, 
And I'm not sure about any other plant types off the top of my head. What's this about 150,000 a year? Is that what it takes to bring the cougars to the yard? 150,000 a year? <laughs> Pop these in the fridge. Oh, wait, I had some meat there. Um, go like this. I'll try like five meat and see if that fills up something. Cook meat, too. Probably, oh, you know what? It would probably take quite a bit. So it's. It takes uh, two raw meat per quantity that it puts in, but. That's not going to get me much. <laughs> I guess if we had killed, all, like, well, I did kill a lot of animals, but if I if I'd kept all the meat and stuff, probably could have used it as a source, but... Sticks are just so easy to get, and so is the fiber. I don't know that it's worth it. To get cougars, 150,000 here. Okay, that's, I thought that's where you are going with that. <laughs> uh, I have... Fuel on me. Let's go, uh... Go check the drill. Berries on the way too. Turn that into more wine, man. Hey, seriously, how you doing? I really love the scenery in this game. I think they did a really, really nice job on the environmental detail. And buildings burn down so nicely, too. Not that we know from experience, of course, that we would never do that by accident or anything. Worms are still gone, that's good. Definitely out of fuel. Okay, get to work, drill. Do your thing. Need more iron. Lady, I play WoW with wanted me to come by, come be her pool boy in Southern Florida. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm stuck. Wasn't there another ramp right here that could still be there? I think we finally had a peace break somehow. So many berries. There's a wolf staring at my berries. Those are mine. Very much. Uh, kind of wasn't watching where I was going. Where's my base? <laughs> there it is. A little busy staring at the berries. I'm gonna need more bottles too, actually, now that I think of it. 
We don't have enough wine bottles. I only got like four. I was about to stop telling you the lantern and you won't remember anyway. I turned it off when I got back to the house. <laughs> Better than nothing, right? Something? Healer? That lovely gold. Uh, okay. Wine bottles. Uh, I have four. Let's make like six more. We'll get like, we'll keep a stack of ten. Ten bottles of wine on me and like ten bottles of beer. I need, oh, I need, uh, two more beer bottles. Excellent. Exactly. And this thing smelts way faster than those other furnaces do. All right, uh, four, that's number five in there. Maybe make two more of these. We have a spare one. Used for fueling other things. Ah, I'm gonna need a lot more sticks and stuff in there. Yeah, definitely a lot more. Definitely, definitely not from Kmart. Alright, guess we're gonna go chop a tree down. I need wood. Ain't got no wood! Glad Icarus supports alcoholism. Yeah! So many alcoholisms. Reminds me, I need to... need to redo my alcohol here. There we go. Now we got a full stack of booze! Wapner, gotta watch Wapner. You're right though, Greg. I, I, I'm probably gonna forget about the lanterns like consistently. I'm really good at consuming fuel when I don't need to. Just a complete waste. Well, really anything though. It's, it's not even limited just to fuel. It's any resource that's limited. You can count on me to waste it. Think of it as a skill. Apparently counting's not my forte either. <laughs> it must have been too much wine. There we go. Oh yeah, it's so good. So much wine, so much beer. Good job, a tree down. It's raining in your cave. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. It's certainly not a game without flaws. Oh, get up! Oh, I wouldn't get up fast enough. No, I don't die. Oh my god, I'm missing the shots. There we go. It is very beautiful and relaxing, only occasionally interrupted with entertaining screaming. <laughs> yeah. It's when they catch me by surprise that it's really, uh, it's really not good. The bears in particular, because they do a lot of damage. Getting surprised by a bear is not... A favorite thing in the world. Alright, uh... I think they would have provided a visual reference for you when your lantern's on or not. Yeah, that, that would be handy. I mean, in fairness, until recently, we didn't even have a spot that we could, like, loop the lantern on and keep tabs on it. So, that's already an improvement. But it would be nice to have something that can indicate that it's on. Like, you can see the light that's shining around you if you're paying attention. And just, I'm, I'm very forgetful when it comes to that kind of stuff.
Hey, Destin Door. I think that's bad. Imagine the scare of the bear gets being surprised seeing Fox. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is that? Is that human? Doesn't look human. Hmm. Needs more sap. Much more sap. I need more tree chopped. Gotta be more. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say there's gotta be some more trees that have been knocked down here somewhere, and here's one right here. Gave me some chopping. I can't. I can't walk across the rocks I chopped up earlier. I didn't do a very good job of cleaning them up. Want the bears in? Great minds think, as opposed to think alike. <laughs> You're sappy, Fox. Use yourself. What? I'm sappy. Talk about. I don't want to put myself in a little container and ferment, though. That's the problem. I feel like that would be awkward. There we go. Finally got the towel that puts the wood directly in inventory wood chopped. So nice. Yeah, it's really handy not having to try to grab it all the time. That one was definitely worth taking. Some of the other skills, you can kind of take them or leave them depending. But uh, that one's very, very handy. How many... I Oh, you know what? I have... Eh, I have not as much iron as I thought I had. Sure. I want to make some, uh, I want to make those windows. I'm gonna take to make windows. I think I needed epoxy too, I don't remember. Make six, that's not bad. Make two of these for now. I'm curious to see if they break in the storm too. Glass roof, I also need glass corners, but that, I'm gonna need more epoxy for... Uh, let's start with this for now. Oops. Mm, talent respect coming in uh, week 12 update Friday. Also going to increase talent points to 60 instead of 48. Oh, nice. Oh, man. I wonder if that'll be retroactive. So, like, I'm level 64. Does that mean I'll just get a whole bunch of talent points I can spend? Or... I wonder how that'll work. That is some dirty glass, man. <laughs> I mean, sure, it lets more light in, but who's going to clean it? <laughs> wow. Super dirty. Uh, is your level 64 or your age 64? I am my level. I'm still a ways off of 64 age wise. Thank you. Appreciate the sentiment though. Not really. Uh, let's see. 63 and a half. Oh, you're all so rude. Bad enough I'm turning 46 uh, this coming uh, June or whatever. I don't need to accelerate the process any. Never seen anyone get this far in Icarus. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I think it's because a lot of people stopped playing or they rushed through a lot of the missions and then... 
well, obviously they weren't streaming it or whatever. I think um, most of the people that I've seen like recording or streaming the game just didn't carry it on that far. They got focused on other things, whereas I've kind of had fun with the game, so I keep coming back to play it. Uh, boop. There we go. That's cool. I like it. Do like it. Just don't. I don't like how fog the glasses. I want to be able to see out of it better. <laughs> is there not is. Is there an option for different glass that's not so wavy? Because that's really disappointing. I mean, it looks great, but man, really hoping it would be. Um, what's it look like from the outside with the with the lights going? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I approve. Very fancy. Makes this room look really neat. It's a shame it's so empty. <laughs> it's like we got all this all this room and no furniture and no real reason to be in here. <laughs> Just for passing through on the way to the bedroom. And even in the bedroom we only have the bed and the fireplace. The rest of it's all Spartan. Need more decorative items. Not because we have to have them, but just because my room feels empty. Don't burn it down. Yeah, now this won't burn down. I've been using this uh, little torch thing for a while. Borrowed it from uh, from Minecraft. Accomplishment is the yeah. Ah, oh, can't jump across. Accomplishment is the reason. Fair enough. All right, let's make it nighttime so we can. Oh, not nighttime. Let's uh. Head to bed so we can make it daytime, rather. Here's good rugs for the bedroom in front of the fireplace. Yeah, that would be good. Like, just something that kind of dresses it up a little bit. I have a feeling they'll get around to adding that stuff. They've they've posted a lot of different uh, tweet pictures and stuff of, like, builds and things that people have created. And, uh... I think they're going to get to a point where they'll start to add some more cosmetic kind of things you can have inside the building. Because, like, we can make a table and chairs... I make the dresser thing, but options are still fairly limited. I do like the windows. I just wish they were you could see through them more clearly. I guess there isn't like a different kind of glass you can make. Oh well, it'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's gonna take a long time to fill, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, I should probably m make more sap, though. Probably gonna need more sap. Monkey Puzzle has some really big builds too, uh, but he's playing with a minimum of five people in his missions. Oh, I see, yeah. If you have a lot of people like gathering resources and stuff, obviously that will, uh, that will speed up your building process a little bit. You can be a little bit more elaborate. Or if you're like building in the outpost, for example, you know, obviously that, that affords a certain amount of freedom too. I've seen some pictures of things. Oh god! Oh, right in the face! It almost killed me. Good lord. Uh, I've seen some some builds that people have done, just like pictures and things, and some of them are really impressive. I found the same thing with um, with Valheim too, though. There were some people that just made some really impressive things. Ugh, that hurt.
Should use wood for biofuel instead of sticks. It costs less. Oh, does it? Alright. Okay, so. You get a lot of sticks out of wood, though. That's the only reason I'm uh, leaning that way. I was using uh, fiber, too, and it works alright. Because you can get just a crazy amount of fiber in a short amount of time, but... Won't do it again! Rotten tree. Your outpost main building is awesome. I haven't built in the outpost at all. Maybe we should do that one of these streams. I, I haven't really decided what I want it to look like, but I, I do like the idea of having a building that looks more modern. Something that's like all the like concrete and glass. I haven't tried to outpost at all. Mostly because I feel like if I'm going to be building something, I kind of want it to f like have a function. <laughs> as I as I build this giant house, it's uh, oh, unnecessary, but at least it has a function. Working on a mission. What the? Done? Get out of here, demon tree. Wait, what were you telling me? What do they complain now that Dying Light 2 has been completed? Oh, I was rushing to get Dying Light 2 completed before Elden Ring comes out, which is uh, live tomorrow night at like 6 p.m. I'm actually having an early stream tomorrow night. I'm going to be live uh, at about quarter to six, so that when the game goes live right at six o'clock, I can already be live. I might even have my, my uh, phone set up as a webcam or something for tomorrow. Uh... Yeah, so I'll be playing a bunch of Elden Ring. Um, there's still, I don't know, there's all kinds of games could be playing, I guess. But that's definitely one that I want to play. Dash this in here for the moment. Need to make more wine and beer, because it's important to maintain maximum alcohol levels. Box webcam. Yeah, it's just my. I'm just gonna be using my cell phone though, so I don't know how. Like I've used it before, and it, it works for like a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna have it on while I'm actually doing the gameplay because I'm not really. Uh, I'm not set up for that. Um, but we'll have. I don't know. We'll just do like a, like a, just chatting kind of thing at the beginning while I'm waiting for the game to be live, and uh, go from there, I guess. All right, we'll try the wood approach. See if that works better. This is stacks up deeper, at least. Last longer than sticks. All right, that's good. Use wooden tree sap for composter. All right, we'll try that out. See how it goes. Thanks for all the purple hearts, by the way. Thanks, seriously. Uh, yeah. So you guys, you guys can all see what my radio face is like. I mean, I've had it on uh, on the channel before, but there's a lot of people that uh, I haven't I haven't done in a long time. There's a lot of people I haven't uh, seen it yet, but. I did already pre-download it. Yep, it's all ready to go. I'm sure there'll be a day one patch because there just kind of always is on these things. Um, so I'm sure we'll have to update that tomorrow. Not a big deal. Excited. I'm going to be playing with a controller because um, I just find it easier to play games like that with a controller. But Never heard of that game. Of uh, Elden Ring? Oh, yeah. So good. Oh good, go check out a trailer for it. It's if you've seen Dark Souls before, or if you're familiar with Dark Souls games, it's uh it's the same company from software that's making it. Got that uh that sort of like dark gothic kind of look to the game. It's super fun. Ooh, look, more purple hearts. So many purple hearts. You have a great radio face. Thanks, Lady Laura. <laughs> You get comments on my voice all the time, so now, now people can say that my face is good for radio, too. Maybe you didn't get your hearts on Twitch, uh, Rabbit. Oh, uh, I need to go back to that cave and get the stuff I was smelting. Still have it marked, right? Yeah. Oh, the weather outside is weather. And a voice that's great for print. Yep, thanks. <laughs> I 
I think more more than anything, I get uh, I get comments about my voice and stuff. Probably because they can't see my face, so they figure the voice is the safe thing to comment on. Your heart's everywhere. <laughs> He needs to read you some Shakespeare one day. Yeah, I don't know how well I would handle the Shakespeare part of it. More than just the sound of the voice for Shakespeare, there's got to be that whole cadence and intonation and stuff. I saw my arrows go flying by. <laughs> I don't know where they landed. See those ones either. Ah, I mean, I lose so many arrows to these worms. All right, copper's done. Done too. Grab all this. Take it all. I'll leave the. Uh, I don't really need the um, the furnaces, I guess. I should take more aluminum with me. Might have a use for this. And I'm overweight. Gonna ditch. <laughs> Not really anything. All right, great. Why use bullet for worms? Good lucky, rabbit. Lucky. Okay, this being overweight thing sucks. I need, uh, I don't know, like a couple more of these. Good enough. Rubs rabbit for luck. I have that cave marked, so I'm not running on a marker for my base here. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are going to have to remind me about that stupid lantern, like, every time. Like, every time. Uh, right. Aaron can go in here. Oh, wait, I need, uh, let's make a bunch more steel. Need lots and lots of steel. 29, that's not that much steel. <laughs> My god. Is that really all I can get out of that? We definitely have lots of coal. Uh, uh you were at some con gonna play Oni first time I saw you. You don't match what I pictured in my head, but now I can see it uh, as anything else. Yeah, that's how that generally works. Like, you, you hear somebody's voice for a while and you envision what you think they look like. Can't be avoided, I guess. But yeah, that was at uh, PAX East. I had a, a streaming slot there. I was supposed to be playing Oxygen Unincluded, but they didn't install the game on the computer they had me planned to play on. And and then I couldn't get it in my Steam account because I had no idea what my password was because it just saves it all the time. And if you've ever had to reset your password on Steam, it is not a fast process. Like, they don't, you don't get it instantly while you're... You're in the middle of doing it. They had like email me or something and it was like two days later I got the stupid password. Horrible experience. Anyway. <laughs> I had to play a game that they just had on the computer already and the only one that was there that I could play was like Apex Legends. So I ended up playing that. Was super irritated. 
Because <laughs> I had planned like six weeks ahead of time for uh, oxygen not included. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, that was uh, three years ago, something like that. I'm looking forward to going back to PAX again once uh, you know opportunities present themselves. PAX East is actually very soon. I don't remember exactly when it starts, but it's soon. I think it's March. It'd be nice when we can go back and start doing all the normal things again all the time. Make me look, you look like a Simpsons character, the yellow face and all. Oh yeah, that's me. I am Troy McClure. <laughs> you might remember me from such films as Rabbit's Nightmare. Hans Mole Man. <laughs> I can't find my game. Uh, more sap. Sap it out. April this year, is it? Really? Oh, I thought it was a lot sooner than that. Max East 2022. Oh yeah, Thursday, April 21st. Well, that's late in April too. That's um yeah, the thing with March in because it's in Boston, it, it's hit and miss for what the weather's going to be like. If you're lucky, you're going to get weather that's reasonable. If not, you're going to get slammed with a nor'easter or something and <laughs> it'll be like 40 below 0 or something. Couple times I went to PAX, I got pretty fortunate weather-wise. One time I went with Nate. Oh, I pulled all the coal out of there. That was the thing I did. There. Get that going again. Gonna get that steel for making all them oxygen min bottles. More sap, we're very glad to have the joy you brought us, and we wish you all the happiness in the world. John P. Writing cards for Hallmark. Thanks, John. Hmm. Ah, 20 steel for each one of those. Good God, that's a lot of steel. Yes, I mean, it is nice that Steam protects your account, like, it's not like, uh, you know, on, on, on one side, at least my account was protected, you know, it wasn't like somebody, like, hacking into getting into it, so there was that aspect of it. But it's just that it was really inconvenient in the moment, because I couldn't get into my account, and I couldn't get it reset while I was on, uh, I didn't know that they, the game wasn't going to be ready to play, and so I was trying to do it all on the fly. Meanwhile, my my stream's already live, and I'm trying to log into things. <laughs> it was it was great, fabulous timing all around. I left the door open up for a while there. Oh well. I mean, if we do it again, then uh, hopefully things will work out better. Twenty for your almond joy. I need strawberries in so we can make strawberry wine. Yeah. Strawberries. Strawberry jam and stuff. I mean, we got berry jam, but not strawberry, you know? I have strawberry. My god, it's so slow! Alright, I think we are going to have to go and find another cave that has a crazy amount of stuff in it, so we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need lots of steel. Too much steel. We'll go get some more iron. You still here need your password, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the next time I can prep ahead of time, right? Time to drag your butt to work. Have fun at work, brother wolf. 
Make sure you have a couple games in a portable hard drive to take with you next time. Well, even if I just have my Steam account, it's fine, because because I could have just logged in on my Steam account and installed what I needed. Um, you know, I just didn't I didn't think I would need it, so I didn't in any way think about it. You know, it's one of those things where, like, whenever I come to my computer and I log in to play, I'm not typing in my password. I'm not thinking about it in the slightest. Like, getting over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch me rage live on screen. Y'all are evil. That's all I got to say about that. I'd kind of like to go to PAX, uh, PAX West or PAX Prime for the next one. This is the right spot for the cave, isn't it? Yeah. That one's in Seattle, as opposed to Boston. Boston. Ba -ba -ba! We're here! We got cavey goodness. Actually, isn't all that far away. Oh, it occurs to me, I was smelting all that, all that iron. No, no, it was steel. I was never mind. Smelting steel, not iron. Second, there, I thought I was doing something stupid. Be just like me. Yeah, come west, box. Yeah, I'd like to go uh, see uh, some PAX West. The couple times I, I went to PAX East, uh, I really wanted to, to see the people from um, from Clay there. Guys who do uh, Oxygen Not Included, but they didn't come to PAX East, they just did PAX West. Because they're out in the Seattle area. I was like, ah oh, man. Light, there you go. Now you can see. And Gary said, let there be light, and there was. And it was moderately okay. <laughs> Why can't I get games to work right? Why must I die every five minutes, stupid Lisa? I can't say that. I'm not allowed to say stupid Lisa. That's my wife's name. <laughs> That's gonna get me in trouble. A little bit more iron. Uh... Ah, I'm point four over. I can do most when I get paid, uh, getting the updated Logitech G305 with a 12K hero sensor and a full desk gaming pad. Oh, nice. See, I, I thought about getting a full desk gaming pad, and then the, the next thought I had was that my daughter is 100% gonna spill a drink all over it or something. <laughs> and I was like, well, how dirty is that thing really gonna get? <laughs> Uh, okay, I need to, uh, need to drop just a little bit of weight. Need to drop it. See ya. Oh, look at it go. Wow, that stuff really rolls. All the way to the water. Huh. You're bowling with that almost. They're washable. Yeah, but being washable and me washing it are two very dramatically different things. <laughs> I know what my limitations are. 
cleaning my desk off is is definitely in that realm. <laughs> yeah, they'll despawn. I don't know how long it takes them to despawn, but they will. It was only enough for a single ingot anyway. It's only two little bars. Two little chunks, whatever. Fox love dishes. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're my favorite. <laughs> Full dust gaming pads are so worth it for the view. I mean, for the view. Infused. I feel like you've just alluded to something inappropriate. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Okay, oh, no wait, they gotta go, uh, no wait, uh, I want steel. Steel. There, there we go, 44, that was a good chunk. Pretty nine anyway, that's our first oxygen bottle. One down, too many to go, uh... Wow, I need like eight more of those things. Man, that's a lot of steel. Good lord. Might be worth just getting close and then uh, carrying like ten of the air bladders on me or something. Okay, that's going to be made over here. Oh, I'm too short of having a second one. Hey, wait, wait. This will be, there'll be two red. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, no, wait. Ah, I wasn't smelting anymore. It's crafting in here. That's what it is. Get those ones going. Good thing we burned all that coal in the furnace instead of saving it for the steel. Yeah, coal's not really a problem. I've got uh, 288 of it down here. That's that's definitely more than I need. Each uh, each thing of steel only takes a single coal ore versus six of the iron ore. So we have plenty. Not really a concern that way. Boop. Uh, let's get some more of this in here. Nice. Okay, that can do its thing. I forget to turn my lantern off again. Blended. Hey Fox, have you fed the bear yet? Actually, we didn't die to any bears tonight. Small miracles. Oh, I like the way the light comes in the window. That's great. Wow. Very realistic. Cool. I'm amused by the small things. Oh, we needed 500 steel. Uh, no. So I need uh, 20 per. And I need uh, 9 of them. So I need 180 steel, basically. So 180 of the, of the, the coal. Now that I said that, I jinxed myself. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Skill. Oh, I'm out of sap in here. Um, that's why I made all this. Take my sap, please. I haven't died to bears yet tonight. That's right. We're not. We haven't. We haven't ended just yet. So it's possible there was even a bear that got in the courtyard back here, but we took care of him. Tree fell on my wall. Did it damage it? Twenty-five hundred. 
Nope. All right. Oh, that one is a little damaged. Huh. Rotten neighbors. Yeah, take care of that. Don't want their lazy tree leaning on my wall. Get off my wall! That's better. See, that's good housekeeping right there. Won't catch me doing yard work like that at home. <laughs> it didn't make a sound because I didn't see it. Had to be done. He was right there. He was asking for it. Yeah, uh, more meat for the fridge. Real? Give me a second oxygen bottle. That leaves only uh, seven more of those bottles to go. Oh my god, it's so much steel. Yeah, a good chunk of steel. So I'll put those in here so that I can start to build up my uh, build up my stock. Oh, I need to get more oxide, I guess. But not tonight, I don't think. Uh, it's already after midnight my time. Uh, I've got uh, a full day at work tomorrow because I'm taking Friday off. Um, so I'm going to have to call it a wrap for tonight. But uh, I think we made good progress. We got rid of the one drop pod here. We got the mission underway for the second cargo pod. And uh, we got this fancy new window inside. I really like the the window. I just wish it was not so blurry. So when you're like looking out of it, it looks a little clearer. But I guess if you if you see it from a distance, it's a a little better. Looks pretty sweet though. I like that. Uh, but thanks so much for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the super chats and everything as well. Uh, again, tomorrow I'll be live early. It'll be like 5:45 Eastern time I'm going live uh, with the intent to start playing Elden Ring at 6 p.m. Eastern when it uh, when it goes live. Hopefully they don't have server problems on launch. Otherwise, you're going to have to stare at my ugly mug for a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, it'll be uh, probably a, a stream that ends the typical like midnight time frame tomorrow. And then uh, on Friday, I have the day off work. So I'll be streaming during the day on Friday as well. So if you want to come and hang out and you happen to be free, feel free to drop in. Uh, but thanks again so much, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.